Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and today I want to introduce you to my Fireside Friend by Estwing. This is a four pound, short handled splitting maul designed to kind of hang out around the campfire um, or backyard fire pit to split wood. Um, it's very similar to a, a traditional splitting maul like this Grand Force Brooks here with the long handle. Um, and you can see I'll show you a couple of different ones here um, where this fits into the lineup. So these are all different um, kind of splitting malls. I've got my original one, which is right here that I, I got a long time ago. I, I don't even know who made it. This is just a number four. And then on that side, and it says wear safety goggles or something on this side. Um, crudely made, but amazingly effective. Um, and so what I'm actually going to do with that guy is dress it up a little bit, you know, grab the uh, painter's tape and some high-performance enamel from Rust-Oleum, and I'm going to um, get this all nice and fancy and give it away to a friend as a gift this Christmas, um, which once you do that, you need another one because you got to have one, and that's why I just went ahead and finally picked up a brand new S-Wing here. This guy uh, sells um, at Lowe's for a little over 30 bucks, but I've seen them as high as 50 online and through other stores, so I don't know what's up with the pricing. Um, but it seems for a solid tool like this, um, it's well worth the 30 bucks. But anyway, a splitting maul, if you look at the uh, design of the blade, basically gets very wide very fast. And compare that like to a traditional axe or hatchet. Um, and the S-wing hatchets are notorious for having a very thin blade that just sticks into wood, kind of like a knife. Um, I don't like them as hatchets. Um, they're convenient. They're great for carving and shaping, but um, that's just too narrow for me. But um, they're rock solid and I've had them all my life. So anyway, you can see that this just spreads out wide really rapidly. So it splits well. Um, but it also creates an enormous amount of resistance. This here doesn't. It sinks in. And even worse um, than the uh, kind of the traditional S-wing design um, hatchet would be if you went with some of these new thin steel ones. This is uh, an S-wing hunter's hatchet. Um, this is actually sharpened in here. You can use that as a gut, uh, gut hook skinner. Um, but anyway, it's very narrow there. Um, which means it's great for processing uh, small wood, it's great for limbing, it's great for carving, um, but not great for splitting. It gets even worse if you go to like the double-handled um, throwing axe, basically. Again, you can see there's a little bit of a, a, of a wedge right at the tip, but basically this is designed to stick into wood and stay. So when you're practicing your throwing, um, that'll stay, and then if you've got a kind of the tomahawk design. Again, very narrow, um, not designed for splitting at all. So if you want to split wood, you get a splitter. And the handheld splitters in kind of this fireside pal or fireside friend um, is uh, just about perfect. Four pound head um, on about a 14, 15 inch handle, I think. And this particular one, um, it, it kind of takes off after their, here's an S-wing um, splitting maul, or uh, wedge, excuse me. And you can see kind of the profile there, not too different. Um, if, you, if you don't think splitting mauls, you know, have evolved as fast as other things, um, the splitting maul that's made by Grand Force Brook, um, again, a Swedish um, axe maker, not only it's razor sharp, incredible sharp, um, but it's got a twist in it. You can see it's off-center. It's an asymmetrical design, so as you drive it in, not only does it spread the wood apart, but it also uh, twists, meaning that it, it creates a greater spread than just the spread here. However, um, you don't have to start with such a thick um, a thick design right up at the front like you would have to if you were trying to get that spread immediately. So you can see that asymmetry forces this thing to twist once it's in. So as you keep banging on it here, it's going to start twisting and get wider than just its profile. 
Anyway, so the, uh, set that safely somewhere. This particular guy here is great for processing small wood. Um, you wouldn't want to split, you know, a cord of lump or a cord of wood for your fireplace. Um, but it does work for a lot of small tasks. And what I really like it for is if I'm repro or kind of repurposing some old construction waste. Um, because You know, it just makes um, short work because just letting this drop, just let that four pounds fall, and I'm choked way up on it. Um, so fun for the whole family. And if you want to get something really small, can just let it start like that, even go smaller. So you can add kind of a degree of precision. You know, it's not exactly great for making feather sticks, but you could, you know, for getting the fire started. But once it's going, these things are just amazingly efficient and just a lot of fun to use um, for processing firewood for your small campfires or, um, you know, or fire pits in the backyard. So anyway, the S-Wing Fireside Friend, I highly recommend it. I've been using my other one forever um, and just thought maybe I'll just upgrade. It's so similar, I'm sure I'm not gonna have any trouble with it. Um, and uh, as you can see, you know, it just chops things quite easily. Get that out of there. You know what, I'm just doing that right on a table. So if you're thinking about Christmas presents or you're just interested in a good processing tool to hang out right next to your fire, um, highly recommend it. S-Wing four pound fireside friend splitting tool. With that, dock out.